Okay, so hearing that we now have another Roblox clone is kind of weird in the year of 2023 because I'm pretty sure the last time we talked about some game copying Roblox was probably back in 2018. There was quite a few back then, but eventually they stopped appearing, they stopped popping up, and we didn't really have any Roblox clones for quite a long time until right now. Today, just take a look at this image right here and tell me that you didn't think that this was Roblox the second that you first saw it because even right now, some people that I am sending this to are still not very convinced that this is not Roblox. And what's even worse than that is I think the people over at this new Roblox clone are currently trying to steal UGC creators away from Roblox so that they can start creating for their clone platform instead. Yeah, it's complicated. There is a lot happening right now, but first, hello there. Please make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe if you haven't already done so. So, of course, I, I saw this from the RTC initially, but after I started looking into this a little bit more, I found out that there is like a whole entire platform behind this. But first of all, the RTC said Roblox competitor Zepeto, I think is how you say it, I really have no idea, is trying to snag Roblox UGC creators onto their platform by offering deals that are better in contract. Many Roblox developers are against this, particularly due to their loyalty and fondness of Roblox. Yeah, I can imagine that a lot of people in the UGC program probably just wouldn't up and leave Roblox and go start creating UGC for different platforms just because they are offering a higher cut. Because even if you're getting a higher cut, if that platform is less popular than Roblox, you are still going to earn less money because there isn't enough players to buy your stuff, basically. You know, I think it's one thing to create a clone of a platform like Roblox. Like, if you want to take inspiration and even copy some aspects of Roblox, go ahead. Like, that's not the biggest deal in the world. I'm pretty sure Roblox would get over that eventually. But when you are trying to steal developers from one platform onto your own platform, it's, it's kind of weird. Like, it doesn't really sit right with me, and obviously it doesn't sit right with a lot of the developers that are receiving these offers because they are just straight up rejecting them. Like, yeah, I can understand wanting people to come on over to your platform and create stuff for your platform, but specifically seeking out the developers who are quite big, popular, and obviously very talented from Roblox, that is what probably the problem will lie. The RTC said the platform is offering developers various deals to make games on their platform and completely switch over. Most developers who took the call said their work would not be paid as a job and the game they wanted them to make was in two months or less for a full-fledged game. Some Roblox developers straight up denied the call because of shady tactics used by the company. One such example is the game inflating and exaggerating player counts by recently played, which is deceiving to players. Ah, so with this right here, obviously over on Roblox, when we see a game that looks like this, where we have the little rating in the corner, we have the title of the game, a game icon, and then the player count, this number right here is not how many people are inside of this game right now. That's how many people have played that game like in total recently. So inside of that game there could be like five people right now but on the outside, especially to people on Roblox who are used to that being the player count, this is gonna look like hundreds of thousands of people are in that game right now. When it took Roblox like over a decade of existing to have that many people inside of games on the front page. Furthermore, many developers have a stigma of the game copying Roblox and being extremely buggy in which the client and the UGC client has a lot of issues with it. Yeah, once again, taking a look at this image right here, we have recommended, popular, official world, new world. I knew about the company previously because like it allowed you to create your own avatars and then have them pose and dance and do whatever you wanted them to do. Like there was a whole thing with that. I had no idea that they even planned to make a Roblox-like platform. I didn't know that this was going to exist and I really don't have any idea how long this has existed for. But once again, we have some games of like 20,000, 30,000, even almost 300,000. It looks like they are playing inside of the game right now. But as we know, that is just how many people have visited the game recently. And the most recent thing that I've seen about this is from Green Lego Cats. Actually, this morning, he said, Roblox gonna see this knockoff of itself and try to become it. And you know, I definitely wouldn't be surprised because why not? It's a bad idea. Roblox would probably take it. But genuinely, when I saw this image for the first time, I, it took me like even a few minutes 
to realize that I am not looking at Roblox right now. All of these game icons look kind of similar, so I, I thought that maybe all of the developers on Roblox were playing some kind of a joke, just making all of their games look similar for the day or something like that, but no, this is a, a new Roblox clone, I guess. So please, in the comments below, tell me what you guys think about this, and especially tell me what you think about them trying to steal UGC creators and developers. But anyway, what do you guys think of another Roblox clone appearing out of nowhere, basically? Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.